Hello everyone, my name is Jing Hong Wong from Imperial College London, and welcome to my presentation on our paper titled An Underactuated Gripper Based on Car Differentials for Self-Adaptive Grasping with Passive Disturbance Rejections. In this presentation, I will firstly go through the background and literature of the research leading to the aim of our work. Then the inspiration followed by the mechanism implementation will be explained. After that, the prototype is going to be introduced and finally, the experiments and performance will be included before conclusion. As a very brief introduction, underactuation is quite common for robotic manipulators since their control is simple and efficient. For underactuated grippers, there are a few considerations as listed on this slide. Self-adaptability, repeatability, force transmission efficiency and the robustness. Firstly, the self-adaptability of a finger is an important feature as they can enhance the gripper's power grasp capabilities. As shown on this figure, the simplest form of adaptation can be shown as the ability to, of moving other joints of fingers after the movement of one or more of the other joints were limited by the object. Secondly, the repeatability, in short, is the mechanism's capability to maintain the same finger shape with the same motor actuation. It is a favorable feature because the control of the mechanism can be easily modeled using prototype defined functions. The transmission efficiency, on the other hand, can be defined as the ratio between the actual forces and the expected forces of the gripper. A high efficiency is favored because it means less power loss during transmission. Last but not least, the robustness are important for grippers mechanism because they are crucial to the success of the grasp. A simple way to explain this will be to maintain the grasping force of the gripper when there are external disturbances. There are a variety of different mechanisms applied to achieve the adaptability, yet they all have their own advantages and disadvantages. Tendon-driven grippers, as one of the most common actuation methods, can provide high adaptability with simple internal structures. However, the repeatability and precision of such mechanism is undermined as they are highly dependent on friction inside the finger and the routing method. In addition, the force transmission capability is limited. Another common approach is to develop the gripper with soft materials. The high compliance materials make them highly adaptable, but they suffer the same issue as the tendon-based systems. Precision grasping and pinching are also not well developed either. As for mechanically driven systems, there are many different designs such as planetary or serial gear designs and indirect clutch designs, shown on the slide. With such systems, the repeatability and the force transmission capabilities are generally good, but the system can be complicated and the adaptability is also compromised. Therefore, the aim of our work is to find a good balance of those considerations to design a self-adaptive gripper with high, high force transmission efficiency and the repeatability. In addition, the robustness of a grasp is also considered. The inspiration of our design is based on the working principle of car differentials. When the car is turning, it was shown on this GIF that the wheel on the outer side travels more distance compared to the wheels on the inside. In order to avoid slipping of the wheels, differentials were usually applied to split the power based on the torque difference applied to two wheels. It is a passive mechanical system that allows relative motion between two output shafts with a single degree of actuation, which matches the expected performance of gripper with self-adaptability. Based on the concept, the finger design of the gripper is developed. The finger differential is mounted in the base and the two output shafts control the pro proximal and distal joints respectively. Therefore, according to the working principle of differential, when either of the phalanges is in contact with the object, the torque of the corresponding joint shaft increases. This will lead to an imbalance of torque between output shafts and the differential mechanism will keep the other joints moving and hence achieve adaptability of the finger. 
As for other design aspects of the finger, silicon molding was added to proximal and distal phalange to increase friction between the object and the finger. Timing belts were used to transmit power from the PIP to DIP joint. The application of timing belts allows long distance power transmission without increasing structural complexity. Timing belts can also guarantee the force transmission capabilities. In addition, linear springs were attached to the distal joint to ensure the repeatability. And hence, the grasping mode of the gripper is as a parallel gripper before in contact with the object. And if the proximal phalange touches the object, the distal phalange will start moving until it's in contact with the object too. Then, about the base transmission of the gripper, the motor differential in the middle splits the power from motor shaft to two output shaft, which act as the input shaft for finger differentials. By adding torsional spring, the relative motion between the motor differential case and the output shafts can be limited. Therefore, the gripper can achieve the disturbance rejection. When a force is applied to the finger after a grasp, two fingers can move correspondingly while remaining in grasping posture. When the force is removed, the finger can move back to the original position by the reaction of spring. This design achieves passive mechanical disturbance rejection without introducing feedback control and can also avoid the failure of the gears. Here is the final prototype of the gripper. As you can see, it is a symmetrical two-finger gripper with a single motor actuation. Each finger has two phalanges and the actuation of the joints were achieved through gear and belt transmission as introduced in previous slides. As explained before, Grippers with high repeatability can provide a relatively simple modeling, and here on this slide, the static modeling of a finger is shown. From static joint torque balance, equations 1 to 3 can be derived, and by rearrangement, the relationship of contact forces and the control torque Tm can be derived, which is quite helpful when determining the force transmission efficiency. A Mini 45E transducer by ATI was used to measure the grasping forces, and the experimental setup is shown on this figure. The measured grasping forces shown on the graph is then compared to the expected forces calculated from the static modeling, and an overall force transmission efficiency of 81.4% was found from the result. As for the repeatability test, 70 mm sphere was placed on the table and the gripper was held horizontally to grasp it. For each trial, the motor was set to rotate 21.6 degrees every second to grasp and then to release the 70 mm ball. Tracking markers were placed on the finger joint and the joint of angles were recorded. And here is the result of the repeatability experiment. Black solid lines indicate the simulation prediction. Solid dots indicate the tracked data during grasping, and the cross signs indicate the tracking data re when releasing the sphere. As you can see, although deviated a little from the simulation due to the fact that the center of the sphere was a bit off, the difference between the closing and releasing point are small with an average of 5% error. As for the disturbance rejection experiment, the same 70 mm sphere was firstly grasped on the gripper and an external force was, was exerted on the fingers as disturbance. After the force is removed, the finger moves back to the initial position. A tracking marker was placed at the center of the object to test the effects of the mechanism. As you can see from the right, Although the grasp object has slipped down with the lift of it due to gravity, the position of the object remains more or less the same. Last but not least, here is a short video on the grasping performance of the gripper on objects with different sizes and shapes. As you can see, the gripper is capable of performing parallel grasp, pinching grasp, and disturbance rejection on a variety of shapes of object, as explained.
In conclusion, here we present the design, construction, and evaluation of under-actuated gear-driven gripper. The proposed gripper can perform self-adaptable precision and power grasp, and passive disturbance rejection on various objects. Compared to the tendon or soft material designs in the literature, the proposed differential design allows the gripper with a large force transmission efficiency and facilitates the prediction of grasping positions. In addition, our grasper is highly modular compared to other mechanical-based designs, since the three differentials are the same, leading to a relatively simpler assembly structure. Finally, with the disturbance rejection performance, the gripper can increase the gripper's grasping capability in dynamic environments prone to uncertainty. That is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your time.